a little over a year later and Hector has returned in an all new adventure. The last episode left on a cliffhanger as Hector entered the sniper's building only to find a laptop controlling a rifle aimed right at him. The game starts with Hector escaping from being shot in the face and then having to find his way out of the building to hunt down the mysterious culprit. Control, while not perfect, is pretty intuitive. Dragging your finger along the screen will reveal hotspots that can be interacted with. One tap for look, two taps for using an item. Those who played the first game should be right at home, and newcomers will be interacting with the game's oddball characters and solving its puzzles in no time. Like the first game, the presentation is top notch. The backgrounds are beautiful and the characters are amusingly designed and decently animated. What brings them to life, however, is the voice acting. From the barge-ass Hector to the wet blanket Lambert and all the street urchins and party chicks in between, the vocal work helps to sell the humour. Now, like most adventure games, getting stuck on a puzzle can bring the game to a screeching halt. Luckily, there is an in-game hint system which helps ease the pain, even if it does mercilessly mock you for resorting to it. Aside from that, unless the adventure genre isn't your forte, or you're not a fan of the crude style of humour that Hector presents, this would be a fine addition to any iPhone gamer library. This has been Andrew with AppSpy.com. We review, you decide.